Let's talk now about forming the arc of our shot. I want us to understand, arc and trajectory are two different things. Trajectory is the angle that we want the ball to fly on its way to the basket. Arc is the entire picture. If you will take into your, into your mind a picture of the McDonald's Golden Arches, or the Great Arc over the city of St. Louis, or more simply for us, the three-point arc. That continuous line and shape is what we want to form as we're raising the ball to the basket. One of the things we talk about at the shooting guy is edges in people's shots. When we take the ball and move it away from ourselves, away from the arc we're going to try and form to the shot, we create an edge. Anytime the ball reroutes, stops, breaks momentum, we form what's called an edge. In order for us to form the perfect arc, we want to keep the ball as close to us as possible and have our body move in a very efficient manner. We have our roll-up drill that gives us an idea of how to keep the ball as close to our body as we can. And I'll demonstrate, at the end you'll see some shots, but if you notice, if I can take the ball from here and move it up into that continuous arc, I have no reroutes away from the basket. One of the things about inconsistency in your shot is there are many possibilities for error. We talk often about players being able to recreate their own shot, to repeat the motion. The more things that happen in your shot, the more possibilities for error. So the less things that are going on, the more chance we have of being consistent. Forming the perfect arc will help us a great deal in being very consistent in how we deliver the ball to the basket, how it flies, and just as importantly, how the ball will land. 